So, Professor Collins, thank you very much indeed for coming along this weekend and speaking to us at this Golden Biology course. And uh, as well as uh, your background in sequencing the human genome, which has been going on now for many years and for many other genomes as well, and other species, you've also been writing, I believe, a very uh, successfully, uh, successful, well-selling book called The Language of God. And I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about what led you to actually write this book. Well, I am a scientist. I've been fortunate to have the opportunity to lead this historic enterprise to read out all the letters of the Human DNA Instruction Book, which is what the Human Genome Project did. And that's quite a milestone for humanity, having that information in front of us to begin to understand how life works and how we might use this for medical benefit. But I'm also a believer in God. I didn't get raised in that kind of a tradition, but actually in my 20s in medical school, encountering people who were facing death and seeing how their faith provided them with a strong rock of support, I got curious about what that was all about. And assuming that faith was all about emotional decisions and there was no rational basis to it, I figured I'd try to learn something about it. And to my surprise, after reading a number of authors who have put forward uh, an intellectual basis for faith, particularly C.S. Lewis, I became convinced that the atheism that I had embraced was actually the least rational of all the choices. And that over a period of a couple of years, trying to learn more about what God would be like and ultimately discovering the historic person of Jesus Christ, I became a Christian. Now some people say, oh, your brain must be exploding right now. You're a geneticist, you work on evolutionary uh, features of our own DNA and that of other species. How do you put these things together? Do you have to compartmentalize them? Not at all. I find science is a way of exploring the natural world, but it has its limits. It can't answer some of those more profound questions like, why are we here? What's the meaning of life? Is there a God? Those are clearly not scientific questions, but they're awfully important. And perhaps there is an unfortunate uh, rumor going around <laughs> that the scientific worldview and the spiritual worldview have to be at loggerheads. I have not found that to be true in my own life. In fact, I can identify no conflict between what I know as a scientist, including all of the details of our own DNA sequence, and what I know about God who created the universe, who put all of these opportunities in place, and had a plan uh, for you and me. Mm -hmm. So actually, the language of God has all the things you've been talking about, but I think it's got quite a lot of science as well, hasn't it, as well as the uh, side of religious faith. Yeah, the language of God is a mix of an explanation of what science is teaching us about life, as well as about the history of the universe, wonderful things, many of which are fairly recently revealed, but also detailing my own personal spiritual journey, and then explaining how these things can all be harmonized in a way that I find enormously rewarding, satisfying, comforting, and yet which, especially in the current time where we have so many atheist uh, manifestos on the one hand and fundamentalist Bible beating on the other, mm -hmm. it would be hard for some people to believe that you could still find harmony. I have found that harmony. I know a lot of other people who have too, and this book was a way of describing the basis of that in an intellectually completely satisfying way without having to check your brain in the door. Mm -hmm. And I believe it sold a lot of copies. It's been selling well, is that right? I'm, so, I'm amazed. I, yeah, so, I thought maybe yeah. 10, 10 or 12 people yeah, so. would read this, but uh, uh, it, uh, in uh -huh. fact, is on the bestseller list uh, for the uh -huh. eighth week uh, after right. uh, uh -huh. coming out in paperback this summer. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Professor Collins, for coming along uh, for the course, and we greatly appreciate you being here. Wonderful to be here.